Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, we just got the 16 maps that are being brought back to Modern Warfare 3, the remasters from the OG MW2. We just got some insight on it, and we actually get to see a preview and the visuals of these maps. I can't wait. These maps literally have so much nostalgia built into just the core depth of my heart when it comes to the experiences, friendships, and many other things that have happened around that time period. I have met many cool friends who I'm still with till today, some of which that aren't really with us, which bless their hearts. But other than that, we're gonna go ahead and get right into today's video and just do a live reaction to them. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. For multiplayer and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, we wanted to give the player a new way to experience these classic maps. When we told the art team, we're gonna be making these maps, they lit up. They were like calling dibs on which ones they wanted to go get reference for. Maps really come through. They feel like they fell back then. And when you're playing high rise, when you're playing a state, you feel really transported back. We questioned a lot of what was good about the movement of older games, what was good about the gunplay of older games, and the same with the newer games. So we tried to marry a lot of those things together. The way we approach it is that, how are we gonna make these the best versions of those maps that people have ever played? Because that's what we wanted. That's what we want as fans. There are places where the metrics of the level are adjusted to fit more modern gameplay, but for the most part, it's going to feel incredibly similar. The biggest changes are really in a fidelity sense. Places like Afghan, where it might have been difficult to see somebody in some of the circumstances, we have new tools to make that both look better, but also read better, so that your target acquisition is improved. Favela is a map where it really pushed our opportunities to explore what you couldn't do in the old one and what you can do now. From an artistic side, the map has more detail than I think any other map. In high rise, it's fun to explore and jump on the scaffolding and mantle to places that you weren't able to actually grab or reach before. Now you can get there. When it was a question of whether it should be like the original or whether it should be more modern in terms of the metrics, we went with the original. And we pushed very hard to make sure that that experience was as close to the original as we possibly could while we modernize the look of the map. I've seen people play it for the first time and they don't really know what they're gonna see. And when that load screen shows up for Favela or for Query, you see them light up like, oh my gosh, these are the maps that I've been hoping they would remake. The whole team here is super excited to bring all of these maps to fans everywhere. All right, I'm a little lost for words. I'm a little dazed, right? So right off the rip, we get a little bit of a preview of the maps, right? No gameplay, nothing like that, but we get some really nice little slideshows of it. And man, when I tell you the nostalgia hit home, bro, the nostalgia hit home. I'm speaking like the memories I have with people who I'm still friends with today is just phenomenal. I remember playing on Underpass. My friend threw a sticky grenade in that little building in the middle of the map. Got a nine man multi kill, man. Just, I, I, I just hear the reactions, right? I'm so excited for this. Uh, a lot of the things I am looking forward to, though, when a beta does drop and that game actually drops and stuff, is, so since they're going for a traditional type of, since they're going for, like, a Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, merge kind of type game, are we going to see the traditional fall camo get released? Or is it going to be a golden camo? Or is it going to be how the Modern Warfare 2 or Ryan camo grind was? If they're going for the traditional standpoint, it'd be cool to see like an autumn or fall camo animate it, right? Or something in that nature. Or even a gold camo animate it, right? Like the BL1 OG gold camo. Something like that with the animation of it. Who knows, right? Or we get a Dark Matter camo. Who knows, man? I'm really excited. All right. I'm really excited. Ladies and gentlemen, I... Cannot wait for this game. Every single day that goes by, I'm itching just to get my hands on it. With further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by. Before you guys go, go down in the comment section below and tell me what you guys are looking forward to in Modern Warfare 3. Me personally, I'm looking for the gunplay just to feel how the game plays and stuff like that. But we'll honestly get to see how that feels when the beta does drop. But other than that, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by. It absolutely does mean a lot. And as always, it's been sweaty. And I'll see you all later. I'll see you guys in the next one.